Hi, I'm Gabriel, and this is Learning English Path. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you the English vocabulary for some advanced colors. Okay, I'm going to teach you some advanced colors. And what I mean by that is that there are a lot of colors that you learn growing up, right? Maybe if you studied English, you, you learned maybe 12 uh, different words for colors. But this is the color wheel, right? And well, it's one version. <laughs> you will see many versions of a color wheel, right? But you'll see this on programs like Photoshop or uh, I think even on PowerPoint. And you can see here that there's not just the colors of the rainbow, right? It's not just red, pink, purple, blue, green, and yellow, okay? There are a lot of different variations to any color. And just a few pixels away from one color could be a slightly different color and we want to be able to distinguish these colors through language, right? That's what language is about. Learning language is about learning to really accurately describe experience. And color is a big part of experience. So we want to be able to accurately describe that. So let's look at some of the words that you may not have learned. And in particular, we're going to look at the differences between uh, some similar colors, All right? So let's start with these ones. Now they're not just pink, right? We have fuchsia. This is a, this is, <laughs> it can be difficult to pronounce actually. A lot of people look at this word and say something else, but you pronounce it fuchsia. And this one is magenta, magenta. Okay, so fuchsia and magenta. Now you'd have a real hard time describing uh, the difference to someone. I mean, what would you say that if you didn't know these words, let's say that you had two books in another room and you wanted your friend to bring one of them to you. You wanted your friend to bring the one that was fuchsia but you knew that one was fuchsia and one is magenta. If you did not know these two words and you didn't want him to bring the other one, right? The easy option is just to say, well, I'll bring both of them, then I'll tell you. <laughs> but if you wanted to him just to bring one, what would you say? You could perhaps say the, the lighter one, but it might be confusing still, right? Because they're different colors. So you need to know these words, fuchsia and magenta. All right, the next one, it can be really hard to tell. Um, the one on the left is lilac. Well, to be honest, all right, a little confession here. Sometimes, um, these words mean different things to different people. Now, when I think of lilac, I don't think of this color, to be honest. I think of a more purpley color. But this is what a lot of people think of. So, you need to know what other people think in order to communicate accurately. So, this is lilac, but you could probably also describe a more purpley kind of color, lilac. And this is lavender, all right? Now, a lot of these color names come from flowers, in fact. Whoop. Fuchsia comes from 
a flower. A uh, magenta. Ooh, I can't remember, but I th think it does. I think you have a magenta flower, but I'm not 100% sure. But lilac and lavender, yes, absolutely. Uh, these are flowers. Now, these two colors, beige and khaki, you might describe pants these way, okay? In fact, khakis are a noun for a kind of pants, kind of pants that are this color, okay? We call them khaki pants or khakis. We don't turn beige into a noun, but you can say the beige pants or the beige beige trousers, okay? So this is the difference between beige and khaki. All right, now here we have three. We have crimson, scarlet, and vermilion. Okay, crimson red is this dark red, right? A lot of wines are kind of crimson color. Then you have scarlet, scarlet wine. You might uh, it's a popular color for a dress or lipstick, right? Crimson, crimson lipstick. And then we have vermilion, which is more orangey. Crimson, scarlet, and vermilion. And finally, we have turquoise, indigo, and teal. Right, turquoise is this blue, beautiful blue color that is often associated with um, coral reefs. Right, the the water by the ocean, by by the ocean, the water by the beach, uh, in and perhaps on an ocean island. Also, indigo is this really dark blue, and then you have teal. All right. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments which ones your favorites are, okay? And if you want me to do another lesson on advanced colors, because there are plenty more, okay? So let me know in the comments. And if you want to learn English with songs, if you really want to take your English to the next level, then get my free guides to 101 songs to learn English, where I give you the 101 best songs and you do exercises in this PDF while listening to the music in order to improve your English. And of course, if you haven't already, do subscribe because I've got lots of videos coming up. I've got lots of videos already and Keep learning, my friend, and keep going.